One of the truly unfortunate aspects of the sort of the dominance of the rationality idea in economics has been inadequate consumer protection in terms of they're not preventing firms from obfuscating, from making things extremely complicated. And I think one of the effects of behavior economics is going to be that firms are going to be compelled to speak in plain English to their clients. And this is going to apply to mortgages. It's going to apply to health policies. It's going to make a very big difference to people's lives. Both in the UK and, and, in, um, and in the US, there is considerable influence now of behavior economics on, on policy. And in the US in particular, Cass Sunstein, who was the author of, one of the authors of Nudge, and a very important, he is a jurist, but he knows behavior economics. He is in charge of regulation for the United States. So a great deal is being done. Emotional happiness is, is really spending a lot of time with people you trust and love. I mean, it's mostly social and uh, the economic aspects are secondary. What is true is that being poor is, is emotionally miserable, it, but the opposite isn't true. That is, it is not true that happiness and, and high income necessarily go together, but it is true that below a certain level of, happy, of, of income, people tend to get quite unhappy emotionally.